What's up everyone, Dabblade here with another preview guide for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode we're going to be looking at the new moves for the light bow gun. Both the light and heavy bow guns have not really been given many new additions in terms of new moves per se, but their new additions come in the form of new mods that you can equip on your weapon. For the purpose of the beta, they gave us weapons that demonstrated these new mods, and in some respects the mods allow you to play the various bow guns in multiple ways now, which is going to be very interesting. But anyway, let's move on to talk about the new moves and mechanics for the light bow gun. First is the aim slinger. Like with all weapons in the game, you can aim your slinger whilst your weapon is unsheathed. This is done whilst aiming your weapon with L2 and then pressing R3. This will switch your stance from your normal aim with your light bow gun to the aim with your slinger. After which you can press R2 while holding L2 to fire off whatever slinger ammo you have. Or alternatively you can press circle while holding L2 to fire off your clutch claw. This will allow you to latch yourself onto a monster after which you can follow this up by pressing triangle for an attack with your light bow gun that will cause monsters to drop slinger ammo or you can press circle to unleash all your slinger ammo at once into a monster which can potentially cause them to charge forward hopefully into a wall knocking them out. Now the next new move that the light bow gun has been given is the evading reload. Join the sliding evade animation which is R2 so you fire a shot and then you press X then X again in a direction which normally causes your hunter to slide out of the way. If you have the evading reload mod equipped on your weapon it will cause you to automatically reload your weapon during the evade animation. You can see this happening as you spin your gun round as you perform the slide. Now by default having one reload mod equipped will only restore one shell however if you have more equipped then it can potentially reload even more. This is a great modification for the light bow gun for when you're fighting on the move. The second new move is the Wyvern Blast counter provided by the Wyvern Blast Type 2 mod. This changes your Wyvern Blast. Normally the Wyvern Blast is a mine you stick into the floor and can be activated either through your own hits or through the monster hitting them. But the Wyvern Blast Type 2 mod changes this. It allows you to basically fire the mine forward in a slow moving short distance arc. This however comes with a lot of recoil and a short detonation window, but it will deal a large amount of damage if it should hit. Unfortunately you can only have one Wyvern Blast Type 2 mod on your light bow gun, but this allows for you to be a bit more offensive with your light bow guns. Rather than setting up traps or using them on sleeping or paralyzed or trapped monsters, you can now fire them whilst the monster is still active. You just have to be careful because they are slow firing and they are very short range. But once you've got used to their trajectory, they are actually quite a lot of fun. Overall, it seems that the light bow gun hasn't received too many new additions in terms of new mechanics and moves. The two new mods are fun enough. I personally find the evade and reload very fun and functional, and it's probably gonna be one of my go-to mods in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. It is gonna be interesting though to see how the Wyvern Blast counter works when Iceborne is released, as well as the potential builds we can craft around the move. But nonetheless, it seems that the light bow gun is going to be as functional as ever. But anyway, don't forget to check back soon as I'll be releasing full in-depth guides to each of the weapons when Monster Hunter World Iceborne releases in September. And until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you a preview guide to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.